Do you know who predicted the 1929 Great Depression or the 2020 pandemic? It was both times the same little girl born in a leap year at a full moon day and the girl hadn't aged a day since the Great Depression. This little girl bought a little crystal ball at a local fair from a weird looking older lady with a black cat, also born in the same year on the same full moon day. Well, the cat, not the old lady. But now I have to tell you something. I made up this little girl and even the black cat. And in both cases, no one predicted both events. Not even the black cat did. It's hard to admit because, well, we humans like to have the perception of being in control, but actually no one could ever predict the big, large events in human history. Why am I telling you this before I reveal how ChatGPT forecasts the 2024 housing market and how you can forecast also other events with it? Well, a few weeks back I came across several videos with crash and burn, fear inducing thumbnails telling that the next housing crash 2024 is about to happen. And even Warren Buffett was mentioned in one of those videos. So I wanted to fact check their assumptions a bit and first check what 20% of factors influenced 80% of the housing crashes in the past. It was too many houses, not enough buyers. Well, that's a catalyst for price declines. The economy takes a hit. This would be economic recessions, loan troubles, for example, high interest rates, making mortgages expensive. Over leveraging, that's borrowing beyond means. You may remember the movie, The Big Short, which covered the whole 2008 financial crisis. Then speculation when buying homes becomes more of an investment strategy rather than a place to live. These factors have been common triggers in many housing downturns, but one or all of them don't guarantee a housing crash. Why? Because housing markets can be pretty resilient. So now we know that others want a, I mean, think they're is likely a housing crash in 2024. The next thing I did was firing up ChatGPT. I wanted to know what it thinks about the alleged housing crash 2024. And I thought it would be a thing of a few minutes. So in one line, I told it, forecast the real estate market in 2024, whether there will be a housing crash. Well, no, it wasn't just a thing of a few minutes because that's not how it's done. Why? The AI first needs data to work with. Based on that data, it can extrapolate and generate forecast. And if you will stay with me a little bit longer, you will find out what the most likely scenario is. So I had it act like a futurologist and with the first prompt ask it what data it needed from me. By the way, I added the full prompt also in the community tab here and you can also find it on hackingrealestatemarketing.com in the article I will link in the description below. So what did it need from me? Well, I thought hoped I could research just three data points and that's it. But nope, it was a lot. 27 data points from areas like macroeconomy, the real estate market, financial markets, demography, and the history of economic behavioral economy. I will spare you in naming all 27. Again, you can find all of them in my article. I link in the description below. So after a few hours of research, I fed ChatGPT with all the data I found and used the final prompt. Now based on the following data, forecast the housing market for 2024, use three future scenarios and assign probabilities to each of them. And the forecast results? Exactly as I asked it, it gave me three scenarios. The first one was stable growth, the second one was slight decline and the third one was rapid growth. Hello. Have you seen the housing crash 2024 somewhere? Hello, hello, where are you? Hello, where are you? Where are you? Come out. Housing crash 2024. Where are you? Oh, there it is. Look at that. How cute. That's so cute. Oh yeah, right. The probabilities, I almost forgot. <laughs> Well, the first 
and less likely scenario with 10% is rapid growth. That's mainly because of the housing stats and permits data I found and fed ChatGPT with. The second less likely scenario is the slight decline with a probability of 30%. This would be the clickbaity mini-me housing crash. One of the factors for ChatGPT assigning this probability was the expected rise in unemployment. And finally, finally, the scenario with the highest probability of 60% is... You may have deduced it already. Yes, it's surprise stable growth. ChatGPT reasoned based on the data I gave it that this is because interest rates are predicted to decrease slightly, leading to more mortgage applications. However, watch out for the unemployment data because it could offset this most likely scenario. There you have it. Now you know what ChatGPT forecasts for the housing market 2024 and you also know how you could do or use ChatGPT for other types of forecasts. You know the approach now. And if you are interested in even more future scenarios, if you are a real estate agent and want to know how to get replaced by AI, well, not how to get replaced by AI, but to avoid being replaced by AI, you may want to check out this next video.